Hello and good afternoon and welcome to the channel. We have an article from CNET explaining Google Wallet and Google Pay. Is Google Wallet the same as Google Pay? Let's have CNET explain it to us. Google announced the release of Google Wallet for contactless payments. But isn't that what, all, what Google already does? This is from Nelson Aguilar, today, May 16th, 2022, at 4.40 a.m. Pacific time. Let's see if the picture is up. Yep, okay. At Google I.O. this year on Wednesday, the tech giant announced the release of Google Wallet for Android, an online wallet for your payment cards, boarding passes, and more. Sound familiar? Well, yes because Google Wallet has been around for over a decade in various iterations. Is Google Wallet replacing Google Pay? Well, we're going to soon find out. <coughs> Will Google Pay still be around, and what's the difference between them? Here is everything you need to know about the history of Google Wallet, what that means for your contactless payment, and what kind of information aside from credit cards you can use in this new edition of Google Wallet. Now, I'm going to play a video for you. This is about how to set up and use Google Pay. Here we go. See if it works. Hold on. Don't work. This has been around. This isn't the first time Google Wallet has been around. Google originally launched <coughs> Google Wallet back in 2011. as its initial mobile payment service app, allowing Android users to tap their supported phones against readers to select shops to make payment to make their payments. And the first iteration of Google Wallet was very restrictive. It worked only worked on the Nexus phone and required users to sign up for a City MasterCard account or get a Google prepaid card to make the payments. It was plain to use, requiring you to open up the app and enter a PIN to access your cards. Uh, four years later, Google Wallet was succeeded by Android Pay. Android Pay was released during Google I.O. in 2015 as a replacement for Google Wallet. The new service allowed Android users to make contactless payments through their phones, which was, which was exactly what Google Wallet did. So why create Android Pay? In short, <coughs> easier to use. Like Google Wallet, Android Pay didn't require you to download an additional app because it was built in. So all you had to do is unlock your phone and place it against the terminal and make a payment. It also arrived after the 2014 debut of Apple Pay and contactless payments on the iPhone 6, which may have provided even more reason for Google to promote that Android phone already had tap to pay capability. And then Google Wallet tried to become PayPal. Although Android Pay did replace Google Wallet for contactless payments in, a, in the latter. The brand continued to exist as a peer-to-peer -peer payment service a la PayPal and Cash App. All you needed to do was send money to friends and family would enter a linked email address or phone number. If you were the one receiving money, you could withdraw the money directly to your bank account or you could use a Google Wallet card and make in-store payments and withdraw cash from an ATM. The Google Wallet card was eventually discontinued. Google Wallet was merged with Android Pay. Now, Google Wallet plus Android Pay with Google Pay. In 2018, Google announced a merger between Wallet and Android Pay, creating Google Pay. This service probably is the one that we're all familiar with if you regularly use Android phone for contactless purchases. Google Pay took features from both services, contactless payments, in-store and peer-to-peer -peer payments online in a single app. Google Pay eventually took over the primary wallet for users becoming a hub for flight passes, transit cards, event tickets, gym memberships, gift cards, and more. It also replaced Chrome's autofill feature, allowing Android users to use Google Pay for online purchases. There was also something called Google Pay Send. Oh, Google Wallet and Android Pay merged. took a few months for the peer-to-peer -peer payment features to make their way over to Google Pay. And so redesigned Google Wallet into Google Pay Send for their sending and receiving payments online. 
Google discontinued Google Pay Send in 2020 as the online payment feature and was eventually ported over to Google Pay. Then it was discontinued and redesigned. Here we go. Google had been re- testing out a redesigned version of Google Pay in India known as Google Tez. This version of Google Pay offered several new features such as in-app messaging, personalized offers, transaction history, receipt scanning, and much more. It also started charging a small percentage fees for debit card transfers. Eventually, this version of Google Pay appeared as, the, as a new app in Google Play Store, while the older version of Google Play stuck around as well. In, in April of last year, Google discontinued the old Google Pay version in the U.S., and now Google Wallet's back. Make up their mind what they want to do, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> During Google I.O. of this year, Google announced the return of Google Wallet for Android and Wear OS which, much like Google Pay, allows you to store debit cards, flight passes, event tickets, vaccination cards, and more. And recently, digital IDs and driver's license. Now, if I'm in the U.S., which service should we be using? Well, Google Wallet will completely replace Google Pay via update in 39 countries, including Mexico, Japan, Australia, Hong Kong, and France. If you're in the U.S. or Singapore, Google Wallet will become the primary Android payment service and wallet where you store your hotel keys, driver's license, boarding passes, and more, as well as make contactless payments. Google Pay will stick around only as a service to send payments to friend and family. And last, users in India won't receive the Google Wallet update. and Instead, can you use Google Pay as their everyday digital wallet? Now, this is Google Wallet gets better support for IDs, transit passes, and privacy. Okay, this is from Patrick Holland on the 11th of May. Google Wallet will work on any Android phone running Lollipop, Android 5, or newer. During the Google I.O. 2022 keynote, Google Wallet got a number of updates and new functionality. functionality. Google Wallet can store digital versions of, of your essential documents, including payment cards, transit passes, office badges, vaccine records, car keys, Boarding passes and student IDs. The idea is to provide a faster, more secure alternative to physical cards. The updates to Google Wallet are another indication of just how relevant, reliant, many people have become with digital payments. So that with a real wallet, people want secure access to more than just digital versions of their credit and debit cards. Google Wallet originally launched in 2011 as a way to store payments, cards, digitally. Over the years, much of Google Wallet's functionality was transferred to Google Pay. Explained the difference between the two as being that Google Wallet gives you quick access to digital versions, while Google Pay is more service-oriented. For most places in the world, the distinction won't matter. Later this summer, more than 40 countries that currently use Google Pay will be upgraded to Google Wallet. The exceptions are India, which will still use Google Pay, and the U.S. and Singapore, which will, still, which will have both Google Wallet and Pay. Google is working with U.S. states and international governments to support digital ID, something Apple Wallet started to support several U.S. states back in March. Google Wallet also has the ability to share a digital card over either NFC or QR code, which could be preferable in some cases to physically hand handing your phone over to someone checking it. Google Wallet also supports opt-in integrations with some other apps. For example, if you have a transit card in Google Wallet, your card and balance automatically show up in Google Maps when you search for directions. That way, if your balance is low, you can add more money to the fare before you arrive at your station or stop. As for privacy, Google Wallet stores everything securely on your phone, doesn't share that data with Google services. Google Wallet will be available on any device running Android 5, Lollipop, or later, or Wear OS. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's your guide from CNET. Thank you to them for allowing us to share this with you. And if you like what you see and you like this, please share it with your social medias and all that jazz, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Tick, tick a talk. No Reddit, please. Tick a talk. <laughs> I'm going to share it there. Um, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 
So thank you for watching. Thank you for being there. Have a great day. See you again soon. Take care. Boop, 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 boop.